let us solve this problem. A picnic is to be held on a particular day. The, the weather forecast says that there is 80% of rain on that day. So if it rains, the probability of a, a good picnic is 0 0.3. And if it does not, the probability is 0 0.9. The probability that the picnic will be good is. Okay. So let us uh, define the events in the following way. So I'll consider the event as uh, E1 that is the event uh, there will be a rain E2 there will not be a rain okay, these are the two events we have and let A be the event uh, uh, the picnic will be good given that uh, the probability of E1 event which is um, 0 0.8 okay, 0.8 and and probability of E2 that is there will not be rain which is 0 0.2 that will be 0 0.2 right now and we have begin uh, be given that probability of uh, that is a, a good pi picnic well uh, that is a picnic will be good uh, with respect to event e1 which is 0 0.3 right and probability of the event a uh, i mean there will not be an uh, rain so that is 0 0.9 okay so now by law of total probability that is uh, p of a will be p of a intersection e1 plus p of a intersection e2 now again we can split these this probability of e e1 multiplied probability of a given e1 now this will be probability of e2 probability of a given it okay. so that would be zero point eight multiplied into zero point three plus zero point two multiplied with uh, 0 0.9 so uh, this results 0 0.42 okay. so that will be the probability 
that the picnic will be good. Let us see one more problem. For every x belongs to 0, we have to show that x plus 1 by x is greater than or equal to 2. Okay. Okay. Let us see the solution and we know that x minus 1 whole square is greater than or equal to 0 for every x okay. and uh, equality holds when x is equal to 1 okay. so this implies that uh, x greater than x squared minus 2x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 now this is dividing by x where x is greater than 0 we get as as x minus this is 2 plus 1 by x greater than 0 okay now let us put all the x terms at one side so x plus 1 by x greater than or equal to 2 and and you can see that the equality quality holds when x is equal to 1 okay. now let us look at the next part of the problem here now the solution this now this is a minus 2 multiplied into x minus brackets square brackets x whole square plus 2 multiplied x minus square brackets x plus a, a square is equal to 0 just keep this as equation 1 Now for y, f of y is uh, is equal to uh, I'll consider this as a e minus two into y square plus two into two y plus e square is equal to zero where uh, where I consider as y as x minus mod x okay. since x cannot be an integer okay. now where uh, x lies between uh, 2 and 3 2 and 3 this implies uh, square brackets x is 2 and 0 lies y uh, between 0 and 1 y lies between. so therefore uh, the equation 1 okay the equation one has uh, exactly one solution that is uh, two comma three 
and the equation if you consider this as equation 2 has uh, has exactly one solution 0 comma 1 okay and therefore f of 0 and f of 1 is less than 0 and uh, let us put uh, that so we get as a square multiplied a minus 2 plus 2 plus a square is less than 0 or this implies as a cube uh, into a plus 1 less than 0 or the a belongs to minus 1 comma 0 Let us look at next problem. Read the question carefully. Now, since F is continuous. continuous function therefore a limit x tends to 1 f of x is a equal to f of 1 okay now let us uh, put x is equal to 1 okay in uh, the given equation so the equation is f of x and uh, f of 1 by 1 okay a is equal to f of x plus 1 by uh, x okay so let us substitute it so f of 1 this uh, since it is multiplied twice so that is f1 whole square so which is equal to 2 f1 or or we can write this as f of 1 is equal to 0 or 2 okay so since f of 1 is greater than 0 uh, so f of 1 is equal to 2 okay okay let us move on to the next problem read the question carefully okay we have two circles here okay and let us take uh, uh, the radius of the circle um, with respect to C1 as R1 and with respect to C2 which is R2 okay now this is uh, R1 minus R2 uh, which is uh, less than 
less than c1 c2 which is less than the sum that is r1 plus r2 so this implies that mod r minus 3 less than 5 less than r plus 3 right or uh, or this implies that as as 5 less than r plus 3 which implies 2 less than r get the first one okay or also we get um, r minus 3 minus 3 less than 5 which implies that minus 5 less than r minus 3 less than 5 or implies that, that 2 minus 2 less than r less than 8 okay we got these two so from 1 and 2 we can say that uh, show that a squared plus b squared plus c squared minus a b minus b c and minus c a greater than or equal to zero side here a square plus b square plus c square minus a b b c c a which is equal to half of uh, uh, 2 times a square 2 b square and 2 c square minus 2 a b b c C A. Again, let us split that. So half of uh, this is A square minus two A B plus B square plus uh, B square minus two B C plus C square. plus c square minus 2ac plus a square okay so it becomes quite interesting here now this you know that a uh, 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 simple identity here this is a minus b whole square plus this is b minus c whole square and plus c minus a whole square okay greater than or equal to zero okay and the equality holds when a is equal to b is equal to c okay please okay. 
guys we will look at another problem okay if you read the question carefully okay now um, a a transpose is equal to a transpose a which is an identity matrix I and A transpose is uh, is equal to A and uh, so so A square is I this is a is involuntary matrix and a square a whole square is 1 or mod a is plus or minus 1 No, but uh, we have that as mod A is uh, A, B, C, uh, this is B, B, C, A, and C, A, B. is equal to a plus b plus c okay so this is 1 b c and 1 c a and this is 1 a b okay so mod a is equal to a plus b plus C multiplied A B plus B C plus C A minus A square minus B square minus C square so which is equal to uh, after simplifying this we get 3 a b c minus a cube minus b cube minus c cube okay or uh, we can put that as as uh, as minus half multiplied this will be a minus b whole square plus uh, b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square okay and which is less than zero or mod a uh, is equal to minus 1 so uh, this implies that uh, this implies that uh, a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3ab is equal to 1 okay, okay so we'll look at the problem
let us uh, solve the inequality x plus 2 mod x minus 2 less than 5 so when x is less than 2 yeah, so x plus 2 mod x minus 2 is less than 5 so this implies x minus 2 multiplied x minus 2 less than 5 okay so uh, it's going to be written as minus x plus 4 okay uh, less than 5 or uh, implies x minus x less than 1 implies x greater than minus 1 okay so this uh, has a solution which is minus 1 comma 2 okay so consider this as 1 now when x is greater than or equal to 2 x plus 2 mod x minus 2 less than 5 so 3x uh, I mean this would be x plus 2 into x minus 2 less than 5 and then it is 3x minus 4 less than 5 this implies a 3x is a less than 9 or or x is uh, less than 3 therefore uh, the solution is uh, a x uh, which is belongs to 2 comma this is 2 now from 1 and 2 therefore the x belongs to minus 1 comma 3 okay. x belongs to Okay. So, in a real.